Okay, today is July the 20th. So before I forget, um, I'd just like to share something with you. Uh, a friend and I went to IHOP today for lunch. No, for breakfast. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, and when we went to IHOP for breakfast, we sat. Um, well, first off, we waited. Once we came in, where there were a lot of seats, there was only one attendant up front. So now the thing is, is that she's taking orders for people that are picking up. Whereas there was three of us, four of us come to think of it. There was four of us that were waiting to be seated at a table. There was a young lady cleaning up and there was a young lady running around doing whatever it was that she was doing. But the thing is, we were standing in line and with all these empty tables where those of us that were coming in to stay could have been seated one at a time. And then that way we wouldn't have had to stand and wait for this young lady to wait on somebody that was doing an order to pick up or take out where she was taken back and forth, back and forth. Then the young lady turned around and finished the order. Then the lady wanted to order something additional and wanted to put it on that order. And in order to do that, the young lady that made the order would have to cancel the order and do the order all over instead of just doing a second order and then having her pay for it however she paid for it. But instead, they're bickering back and forth what they can and cannot do while we're still standing there waiting 10, 15 minutes extra. So I stepped up and said something to the point where, you know, don't you think that you could have someone seat us where we wouldn't be standing here listening to y'all business and being in y'all way? And then that way we could turn around and order from the people that are doing the tables and taking the orders so we can get our order. Well, I give her about two minutes to think about it and then she did it. Finally had a seat. They put us in one spot, then they put us in another spot. Me and the friend that I was with. Okay. So now that they did all of that, then what happens is once they did that, we figured they'd take our order. And like I say, we already knew that there were three other people in front of us that would get their orders and before we would because then they would get to us, I guess. But as you know, and I, I went to IHOP and there are people that have certain sections, you know, that they take care of. So the young lady that took us to where we were brought us stuff in, brought the menu and we chatted and said, you know, we'll order in a few minutes, and we did order. Once we ordered, even though there were three other people, we could have ordered maybe before them, or they took it in rotation, because we didn't know how many cooks they had in the back. So we knew we would wait for a minute or two. But we waited in there for about 15 to 20 minutes before anything really developed. And then waited another 10 minutes before I opened my mouth and asked her what the problem is that I noticed that everybody else is, you know, you've taken these orders and you're just getting to us to order about 25 minutes later. So then she took the order, you know, and now we waited, waited for the order. Once she took the order, we waited another 20 minutes. Now, I must say one thing. The food was good. Um, I got an omelet, three pancakes, and a cup of coffee. Didn't, you know. But the thing is, is that by the time I got the coffee waiting for the omelet, you know, everything was good. But it took them another 20 minutes to get back to us. To even have me say something about... We haven't received our food. So, in all told, taking four or five minutes to explain this to you, it took us over 
45 minutes before we got our meal. And she's now running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, doing whatever it is she's doing. And I noticed that she was waiting on other tables and not doing anything with us because they didn't give us any napkins. They only had one syrup when most places, you know, have regular syrup and then maple or strawberry or whatever you have, you know, didn't offer none of that. But we saw it offered at other tables and we had to ask for, well, do you have other syrups? But, you know, it's I just watch the customer service as far as, you know, y'all telling us that we need to give a tip. And then you put the tip on the bill. You know, to me, you know, I'm going to make the payment minus the tip because I wouldn't have given her anything. I wouldn't have given her not one red cent. But here's the kicker. The person I was with, I asked them, well, you know, you take care of the tip, I take care of the bill. Because I wasn't going to give her a tip. And since I was with a young lady, I'm quite sure, you know, she was going to be nice enough. And that's what she did. She gave a tip. I paid the bill with a $50 bill. Now, the thing is, the meal came to $9 and 30 some cent, 39 cent. So 61 cent was due me. Do you know this young lady came back to me and says, well, um, I don't have the 61 cent to give you. Uh, so I asked her, I said, well, if you didn't have the 61 cent to give me, then what you should have did is you should have given me the dollar. Because 61 cents is over 50 cents, which is over half. And you think that you get 61 cents of my money that I didn't want to give you. When she gave you a tip, you could have took, taken it out of your tip. But, you know, the thing is, if they didn't have any change, I'm quite sure they had some coins back there because I saved coins. Okay? Here we go. You know, these are quarters. So this is $10 worth of quarters. And I know daggone well, even if you were 61 cents short, should have went in there and told them people that you needed to open up one of these rolls because I'm quite sure as a business, they have these, okay? Whether you have the pennies or not, I have no idea. Why? Because I also have the roll of pennies, see? Like I said, when I save, I roll these up to make sure that when I go to the bank, I don't have to count them. I can give them to the bank. You could have turned around and went to your boss. You could have got them from your boss. Like I said, if you was a real, real person, customer service, friendly and would think, use your, your head. The thing is, is that, you know, you make the customer happy. Especially since you're counting on me, customer, to give you a tip to help out with the fact that you feel like you're not making enough money. And this is why I'm saying to everybody now, make up your mind yourself whether or not you want to give a tip if it is worth giving a tip. Don't let them tell you and dictate that they're going to take out money out of your money to give to somebody that they should increase their pay because some people don't deserve an increase in pay, nor do they deserve a tip. Okay? So I hop. this is my thing to you, is that I don't care how hungry I get. I will never come to that location ever again, even though I don't go to, you know, curry outs or either places to eat other than dinner, but I went there for breakfast because I go to International House of Pancakes and a couple other places, even though that is the International House of Pancakes, but I don't go to your IHOP on Route 40, okay? Um, not no more. I'll find somewhere else to go if I decide to go to breakfast. I'm a cook. I have a garden, you know. So my thing is, I really, I just had a taste for omelet. And y'all did a good job. Your, your, your chef was nice. But your customer service, that little young lady that I was sitting in that table right near the window on the far right-hand side, I wouldn't have her order me anything ever, ever again. And she wouldn't have gotten not one red cent out of me. But I was nice enough to let her know that what she did with the 61 cent, you can have it. Instead of saying that I wanted the dollar 
and then you could take your 39 cent, you know, from somewhere else or out of your tip because I want my money. But it wasn't nothing but 61 cent, but it was the principle of how she did it. Very, very, very unprofessional. Everything she did, other than come over to ask, uh, do you need anything else a couple times? But I wouldn't have given her a dime. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Make up your mind whether or not you want to give a tip or you don't want to give a tip. If they deserve it, give it to them. If they don't deserve it, don't. Don't be nice. Be real. Ask yourself, does it make sense that they put us through what we go through dealing with them, thinking that they can get away with anything they want? And that's my tip of the day. Y'all have a great day. And like I say, I hop Route 40. There's a lot to be deserved with some of the people that you hire. Oh, yeah. And one other thing I do want to think. I want to recommend, you know, and commend the chef. It was a very good meal. And the reason that it took so long as far as that was concerned was the fact that one chef that was supposed to come in or cook didn't show up, did a no-show. So they were only left with one cook back there. And if I had my way, I'd have went back in and helped her. But the meal was great. Y'all have a good day. Peace.